So if you have a uniform electric field like this, and let's imagine you have placed a dipole. So let's say this is a minus Q. This is your plus Q. Okay. Again, the, the center of the dipole is somewhere over here. Okay. And again, the length from the center or the distance from the center is equal to L and L. This is the center of the dipole. Let's call it as O. This is electric field uniform electric field the charges are plus q and minus q first let's talk about the force so the force on plus q as we know is always going to be along the direction of the field if you place a positive charge in the electric field the force that you are going to experience will be along the direction of the field and the magnitude of the force is going to be equal to q e what about the negative charge will be opposite to the direction of the field opposite to the direction of the field correct it's going to be opposite to the direction of the field and the magnitude of the force is going to be equal to same that is QE perfect perfect and if I talk about the dipole moment vector the dipole moment vector is from negative to positive that is in this direction in this direction this is the dipole moment vector right this is the dipole moment vector and let's say we have placed this dipole in such a manner that this dipole moment vector is making an angle of theta is making an angle of theta with the electric field vector so this is your direction of electric field vector this is the direction of the dipole moment vector and the angle between them is theta did you understand the situation first of all so if you have a uniform electric field, you take a dipole and you place it over there such that the dipole moment vector and the electric field is making an angle theta with each other. Then we know that the positive charge is going to experience a force in which direction along the direction of the electric field and the negative charge is going to experience a force opposite to the direction of the electric field. Okay. As a result, if you treat this entire thing as one system, if you treat this entire dipole as one system, I can say that the net force, net force on the system is equal to zero. Yes, the net force on the system is equal to zero. If you treat this uh, dipole as a system, then you can certainly say that the net force on this dipole system is equal to zero. Correct. And we are seeing two equal and opposite forces, two equal and opposite forces whose line of action is different. Two equal and opposite forces whose line of action is not the same. So if there are two equal and opposite forces whose line of action is not the same, that is going to develop a couple and a couple will give us a torque, right? We know that, correct. So that is going to be the story. That is going to be the story. So let's understand what happens now. We know that you have a dipole. We know that the positive charge is going to experience a force along the direction of the field. And the negative charge is going to experience a force opposite to the direction of the field. The net force, however, on this is going to be equal to zero. That also we know, right? If I take the entire dipole as a system. And since we have got two forces equal and opposite to each other, but the line of action of the forces is not the same, what we are going to encounter, we are going to encounter a couple and that is going to generate a torque, which is going to rotate this dipole, right? Okay. So if I just... If I just have to introduce you to torque, let me just recall what we have done in rotation in 11th standard, right? Okay. So if you remember two equal and opposite forces separated by a distance resulted in a torque. The net force, however, if you see on this is equal to zero. The net force on the system is equal to zero and the net torque, the net torque was acting about the center of mass of these two masses. And it was about it, it, it had a sense of rotation. It has a sense of rotation. So if you see the sense of rotation is clockwise in this case. In this case, it was rotating the masses in clockwise sense. No problem. The net torque, however, was given as the magnitude of the torque on one and plus the magnitude of torque on two. And how did we find the value of torque? Force times the perpendicular distance. So R cross F r cross f that is also equal to rf sin theta rf sin theta the net torque was equal to 2 rf sin theta so torque is defined by perpendicular distance into force 
no problem all right or cross product of r cross so it's a cross product of r and f perfect now a similar situation is over there. think about it a similar analogy is what we have over there. in this case also if you consider the dipole as a system the net force acting on the system is equal to zero and the net torque will be the torque on the positive charge plus the torque on the negative charge and if you can see the sense of rotation is in clockwise direction okay perfect so now if we have to write the value of the torque we must know the perpendicular distance and we know that this distance or this length is equal to l so what will be the perpendicular distance because this is going to rotate the electric field is going to rotate this torque about its center about the center of the dipole right so what is this length perpendicular distance l sin theta and even for the negative charge it is equal to l sin theta no problem okay so now what we have to find out we have to find out the net torque net torque on the positive plus the torque because of negative and we see that the sense of rotation because of both of these torque are in clockwise direction only hence we can add them no problem so what we can write torque because of plus q or well, let's write it as magnitude because it's a vector quantity of course that is going to be equal to q times of e times of l times sine theta all right in terms of magnitude torque magnitude of torque on minus q is going to be equal to again q e l sine theta no problem okay now the net torque is going to be the summation of both of them and since they are all oriented along the same direction that is the the sense of rotation is clockwise what we can write the net torque the magnitude of the net torque is equal to 2 q e l sin theta now you see 2 q and l what does it give you does it ring a bell right okay this is nothing but the magnitude of the dipole moment vector remember there is nothing but the, the magnitude of the dipole moment vector. So, I can write net torque or magnitude of net torque is equal to magnitude of P vector times magnitude of E vector times sin theta. Alright. Okay. So, this is what we get as the formula of the torque experienced by a dipole when it is placed in a uniform electric field. And what is this value theta? Theta is the angle between the dipole moment vector and the electric field. The dipole moment vector and the electric field. Okay. So, theta is the angle between the dipole moment vector and the electric field. So, now we know the formula. We know how to calculate. We found out the net torque. No problem. Understood this? No issues? 